How's it going guys? Welcome back. Today we have two showdown cards from the Bundesliga that I was kind of surprised when I first saw the leaks. So, first off, we've got Byron Giddens. This guy has 92 pace, 90 dribbling, 84 shooting, 82 passing with 72 physical. Overall, the card looks pretty average, but then you remember it's a showdown card, so you'll get some sort of upgrade, well, if they win. He's 4 star, 4 star, high medium, 5 9. He's actually pretty young. In fact, he probably could have been a future stars this year. So, more notably, he has high acceleration, high agility, high balance, and overall, he's kind of looking like another Diaby, which I think he can actually play right mid. Yes, he can play right mid and left wing. Comparing him to Diaby, as you can see, He's got much less pace, but overall the kind of idea behind each card is the same, where it's just high pace, high agility, get him behind, smooth-ish dribbling, and then overall decent little wingers. Then we've got Henriks. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. He's a right back. We already know <laughs> all about our new Bundesliga right backs. Six foot one, high medium, right footed, can also play right mid, which is nice. 94 acceleration, which is actually crucial. 85 defensive awareness, high ish reactions, high ish composure, high stamina, which is very important. I've got him on an anchor because overall his acceleration is high enough, and then getting that physical up seems pretty crucial. And then on Byron, we have a marksman so for now this is the team we will be swapping in probably diaby because it kind of fits the vibe of byron diaby both being on each or being on each wing but we can also put in jovetic and borva at striker instead of hauler and also we're going to be using brand because he's a new card he kind of deserved his player of the month it's just i don't know Seems cool to have him. He's not very special. And if that Muller card from, what is it, Road to the Knockout is not meta a month after, this card is definitely not meta. But maybe he has like a special body type. He doesn't. But <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's head into game one. Also, if you didn't notice, Delict is actually a left back in this re-release. So his inform came out as a center back, obviously. But it's a left back, just reinforcing the fact that they just love making the center backs, wing backs, and wing back center backs in the Bundesliga. Not a bad team, and it reset my camera angle. Oh, old Mane on the run, even with the jank camera angle. He scores it! What a beauty! Ooh, nice pass. Yeah, that's a goal. Okay, we got a little bit of movement from Haller. Haller going on the run. Oh, he's not being stopped there. 99 composure. He gets the goal. <laughs> Mane, tight dribbling. Give it to Henrik. Or, by no, by own. Oh, okay. That is not a good pass. Okay. Mane keeping it from Maldini. By no. Yeah, he has 80 long shots. I don't know why I tried it, but I just had to find out. That was not my intention. Oh, Bino. Let's see if he can get into the box. No. Henriks? Oh my god, use that pace. Play it. Oh my god, he's going. Henriks. All the way. Chips it into Mane. Mane, no. Man, did you see the speed on Henrik's? Ooh, Bino. Oh, beautiful dribbling. Ah, okay, we take those free kicks. Off. Nope, that's on. Good tackle. Oh, that's a garbage deflection. So I was gonna, I was trying to force him a little bit into the midfield or in the middle of the field, uh, 
I guess that's the midfield, but not directly. Uh, a little bit at the end of that half, but he's just not really contributing much. So I'm going to push him out wide. Hope that he can do a little bit more. I like the dribbling there, but leading to nothing. Hopefully he can do a little bit more and we can showcase him a little bit better because although running down the line with him is fine, I kind of want to show if he's able to hold his own when he's got a little bit of pressure. Ooh, what a through... What? Okay. A little bit off balance, but he's still got that. Alert to Mane. Mane, burst of speed. Nope. Cruz to Holler. Oh, that's in. Beautiful little passing play. Okay. Mane. Oh, bang that. Bang that again. Oh, it's a garbage goal. I'm skipping that. But we do take those, I guess. Bino, please. Please, Bino, you're explosive with high pace. Okay, we win that, but Bino is nowhere to be seen. Or he is to be seen, but he's just not achieving anything when he's on the ball. If we go into this, we go possession. Dribbles, 28. Dribbles completed, 22. Which isn't that bad, actually. Maybe Yavatich, maybe Boar. I do I think I used Yavatich in the last video, so we're going to put Boar, and then we can see how having two of those fast, fast wingers kind of pans out, but actually I think having Holler would be better, and for chemistry too, but also I want to change Bino, so I was calling him Byron, I'm so sorry, but Bino, because I think he would do better if he had a dead eye on him. Just boost that shot power. But he needs attack positioning. Okay, we're going to try him on a Deadeye. And then we're going to head into game two. And see if that changes anything. Or if he can at least do a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. Game two. Operation. Run down the wing and pace it is a go. And we've got this Liverpool fan. Ter Stegen, Maldini, and Sergio Ramos, Mbappe. Vieira, very nice team. Oh, Bino? Bino? Come on, we're gonna get that long shot. Come on, Bino. <laughs> okay, that's half. Ter Stegen's not letting up from uh, long shots, but overall, we've got a little bit of push in the game. Oh, this guy's named Byron with a... Liverpool badge. Interesting. So let's go to the performances. At halftime, we are looking at Diaby being our main attacker. Kroos doing good. Henriks, I haven't seen him, which is good and bad. And Bino, how's his dribbles? Nine with seven completed. It feels like it's a lot more. It really does. He loses the ball a lot. Bino, Bino, let's get some cheeky little dribbling going. Okay, Bino, push it in. Mane to Bino. Oh, Bino, bang that. Yes! Finally, Bino. I had to force him to get him into the middle, into the box, but he finishes it. Ooh, that's a good ball. Ooh, that's cheeky. And he still gets to it first. Okay. Bino, Bino, a little touch to Holler. That's not strong enough. He really needs a passing boost. He he needs that little bit of long passing because he is not doing well. Mane, Bino, Bino, beautiful pass. Bino, go Bino, go Bino. Oh my God, that has to be a red. It's kind of last man. Is that even a yellow? Okay, it's a yellow. Go. Push it. Henrik? You see that back post run? Ter Stegen does too. Oh, that. 
That's a last minute goal. And that ends it. That ends our winning streak of exactly one. And as we watch through this. So, um, yeah. So I don't really like Bino. Can I say that? He was man of the match with that one goal he got. Dribbling rate is probably very high still. Wow, it's higher than last match. Yes, he was tackled by his opponent eight times. Interesting. Oh, I could have checked that the last map. And then we've got Vardiol Henrik's just kind of chilling. I mean, he did one standing tackle and he won two defensive duels. So, I mean, he was just perfect from all the interactions that he actually got. So, heading back into the team, let's do a final review of the two cards and who I'm actually going to end up doing. So, starting off, slowly starting off, we have Bino. And he probably wouldn't have had a goal if I didn't force him. But looking at the dribbling success rates and whatnot, I guess he was doing better than I thought. I mean, either way, if you're a Dortmund fan, or if you want someone like Diaby and you missed out, this card, I think it's cheaper, and it has a chance of being upgraded. He does still feel quick. Honestly, between him and Diaby, it's like almost nothing. They're very, very similar cards. So if you were trying to like put him into the team for Diaby, I don't recommend it at all. I think Diaby is good enough, and he can get further upgrades, whilst Bino cannot after this game, which I think is on Friday. So I'm assuming the SBC expires on Friday. So as a note, so Bino, I think with this new loan thing, I was kind of skeptical at first because when the leaks came out it was only the loan so the only the super loan which i thought was kind of bad so for an 82 squad it's probably worth like 10k or something it's interesting it's an interesting concept but personally i actually really like it i was thinking about it and i think it, it is a good idea especially with this card like Bino or with not really with Henrik's because right backs are always like very expensive if they're good but with like Bino this guy if you don't absolutely grind out the game this card will be more than fine after those 99 games and you'll probably be out of the meta by then and specifically because he can't upgrade further or yada, yada, yada. So if they would have done this with Diaby, I would have been skeptical. Because are you really going to play 99 games total in the span of three months? Well, some of you may not. But there's a chance. And honestly, I think it's fine. Especially for this card. I'm happy I did it. I'm happy I did it as the whatever super loan ultra loan whatever they call it because i don't think i would use him for 97 games and maybe even pass if he gets an upgrade but on the flip side we've got henrix who i mean i don't know i'm gonna still test him again 97 game loan I'm gonna play a couple of games before he expires see if i want to do him or not but I think I'm going to end up doing this card. Why? Because besides the fact that Frimpong's kind of uh, interesting when it comes to his strength. So I always have these weird issues with him where someone's like he running like Ronaldo uh, flashback on the wing. And for some reason, well, I know exactly what reason. He has 70 strength, but he just gets pushed around a lot. And the back post headers and all <laughs> He's five foot seven, yeah. But he does feel like a much better attacking uh, wing back. But this card is more than fine. And it's more than capable of passing and dribbling to an extent. And also, he's fast. He feels fast in game. I think he is controlled. 
you cannot make him lengthy, but controlled is more than fine on wing backs. And I think overall this card is a nice card. Gonna be doing his full SBC because I think what's from Pong? 235, but that is including squad battles. So I probably have around 100 games with him. And if he expired now, that would be a big problem for me. Now, I will note that the Bundesliga gets right backs and left backs and center backs that can play left back and right back and more notably, Delict. Uh, <laughs> all the time, Delict got updated to be a left back. But, like, I think this card is solid. And I don't remember all the options that the Bundesliga has. I've been running from Pong for a long time, and I've been wanting to change it up. Pavard I wouldn't use. Kenny has low dribbling, low passing. Mounier got re-released. Not really a great card. I was playing him at center back when he came out, and he wasn't a great card there either because of his defensive awareness. So, from all the other options besides Frimpong, I think he's solid, and I think I'm going to give him a little bit more of a taste or a tester before I do choose him, but I will be choosing him. Now, if you're going by who is going to get the upgrade, that makes it tough. Both teams are doing decently well. Uh, <laughs> I think, who played Chelsea? Was it Leipzig? I think it was Leipzig who played Chelsea. No, Leipzig played City, and then Dortmund played Chelsea in the Champions League. And overall, both of them did very well. Now, is that a good comparison? No. And in the Bundesliga, they're doing well. I think recently one of them tied. But overall, I mean, I, I would gamble it's a close game. I would gamble that a tie would be mildly likely. But if you want my personal opinion on who's going to win this game, if a tie is not even possible, I think the last time they met was early in the year, so take that into note, but it was a Dortmund 3-0? No, Leipzig 3-0, sorry. Leipzig won 3-0, meaning that Henriks would probably get the upgrade if he went that way. But Dortmund has won more matchups between the two, and Dortmund is higher in the table than Leipzig. So it's going to be a great match. I'm very excited to watch it. But yeah, on that, thanks for watching. If you can, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know who you're picking from these two if you're not actually doing just the super loans. And if you're doing the super loan, just let me know too. And otherwise, yeah, thanks.